Okay, so this is router one, router two, router three, okay, and router number four. R1, R2, R3, R4. We have AS number one, AS number two, AS number three, AS number four. Try to understand if R1 has some update, right? 100, and we are running with the EVGB, right? If R1 has some update, R1 will save this information to the R2, right? R2 will save this information to the R3. So every router, what they will do, they will prepare the own H number, right? That's the default behavior in EVGB. Right? R3 will send the same information to the R4. So in this case, what happened when R3 will send this information, it is also going to prepare the own H number, right? So what happened in this update 100.0.0.0 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, AS number will be what? What? Sorry, three, colon two, colon uh, one, right? When R3 will send this update to the R1, what R1 will do? They will just discard this update, right? R1 will just discard this update packet. Why? To just prevent loop. To just prevent the loop, right? That's how the EVG was work. In an EVG, what happened? Yes, yes. In EVGB, what happened? We have our ACE path information, right? And ACE path information is used to prevent the loop in EVGB. Whereas IBGP has a split horizon rule, right? Right? So, guys, try to understand in this topology what happened. We have a two customer, right? One, we have a Cisco, right? India. And we have a Cisco UK. Same thing, we have a two, uh, another one, so we have a Nokia, India, and Nokia, UK. Right? As we know that, as we know that, the publication, right? Is not free. You have to pay some money. Right? So tell me one thing, how many branch we have a Cisco? If you just take example in a complete whole the world, the Cisco has a multi almost near on, just assuming right, 30 to 50 branches, right? And if I will talk about the Accenture, right? How many Accenture branch they have? Maybe 10,000, right? So guys, is it possible that for the 10,000 branch, I'm going to purchase the 10,000 different ACE number. For the 30 to 50 branch office of the Cisco, is it possible that I'm going to purchase the 30 to 50 ACE number? It's not possible, right? See, it's possible, but again, what happened? The cost comes in the picture, right? And that will be never a desirable solution. So what happened? I can use, right? I can use the same ACE number in a different, different location, right? So I will purchase the, for example, uh, for the Cisco office, I'm going to purchase the ACE number two. And for the Nokia office, I'm going to purchase the ACE number three, right? So whatever the branches we have, doesn't matter, India, USA, UK, Dubai, all the branch offices are going to run with the ACE number two. Same thing happened for the Nokia as well as, if the Nokia has a multiple sites, they are going to use the same ACE number. So in that case, what happened, we can save the cost over there, right? We can save the cost, but but what is the problem is happening? Loop. Ace path is used to prevent the loop. What happened when R1 will send this update to the R3, right? Try to understand when R1 will send this update to the R3. In this update, what happened? They'll put the 1.0.0.0. This information, the route we have. Right, slash 8. This guy has a 9.0.0.0.0 slash 8. This guy has a 2.0.0.0 slash 8. And this guy has a 3.0.0.0 slash 8. So when R1, right, when R1 will send this update to the R3,
when R1 will send this update to the R3, right? In this update, what happens? We have one or zero or zero slash eight information. They will update the own age number, age number two, right? When R3 will send this update to the R7, right? What they will do? This guy is going to use the IVGP, so they have a age number one, right? So R7 will receive this information, and R7 need to advertise this information to the R9. So how they are advertising this information? This guy is going to prepend the own age number. This guy is going to prepend the own age number. So if this person is going to prepare the own age number, the update will be something like this: one or zero or zero or zero or zero is path only one and two. So when R9 will receive this update, what they will do? They will just discard it. Same thing has happened from this side. R9 will say this information to this guy. They will put the age number two. R7 will say this information to the R3. R3 will say this information to the R1. Right? Update will be nine or zero or zero or zero is some one and two. They will discard it. Just because of the same age number, same thing happened with the Nokia as well as same thing happened with the Nokia as well as because age number used to prevent the loop. So solution is the only one that you can use the different different age number one, two, three, four, and that's not a desirable solution because cost comes in the picture, right? So to avoid this problem, we have a two solution. The solution number one. we can use the allow asmp and second we have a as over right the main difference i'm telling you right now the main difference between the allow is and as over right allow is you are going to implement on the customer side And this guy is going to use a ice percent. You always going to uh, use the ace over right without VRF. Without VRF, you cannot use the ace over right. You always going to use the ace over right with the VRF concept. The output right, the output will be different. The output will be different. I'll show you the output. Don't worry about that. But yes, if you are going to use the allows, you have to use on the customer side. And if you want to use the ace of right, you have to use on the ISP side. So what I'm going to do for this person, I'm going to use the allowation that I'm going to implement on the customer side, right, on R9 order. And on this guy, I'm going to use the ace of right. For which guy? Nokia. All done. So if you so see the no, no, yes. uh, so you said allow AS in on customer side, correct? Yes. And AS override on the SP side on R seven order. Okay, but what is Nokia side? You said something. What is the Nokia side? This uh, A sovereign. I'm going to configure for the VRF, which we are Nokia VRF. That I said. And why not for the UK VRF? I mean, for the already system. I have configured. Either you have to use the allow machine, either you have to use the A sovereign. Oh, okay. So is it not possible to use A sovereign for both? Uh... Yeah, you can use it. I just want to show you the different different output over there. That's it. Oh, okay, okay. You okay. can use it because examinations. What happened? Uh, based on the output, right? You have to deploy this thing. All done. So you can see on R1, let me show you the first uh, IP configuration. I'm going to remove the BGP, whatever the BGP is configured right now. So IP interface brief. Okay, so same yesterday topology is there, nothing is different. So down section BGP, what BGP is there. Perfect, right? I'm running with the router BGP number two. That's not an issue, right? So leave it the R1 like this. On a R2, 
two, let's check what are the configuration we have. On R3, everything R2 is also good, right? They are running with AS03. And that has to be right. You could just go not out on our nine or eight. We need to manipulate this thing. So I'm gonna say in so I feel so I will put about somebody. I need to okay. Conflict. No router BJ4, right? And I said, okay, router BGP number three, BGP router ID will be what? Neighborship, I'm going to form. Should be router BGP number two, right? It should be three, right? Nine. Okay, sorry. This is nine. Neighborship, I'm going to form with dot seventy nine dot seven one. All good. And network, I'm going to advertise my nine dot zero zero. The loopback is defined, sir, for the. Yep, yep, yep. So I think the loopback is there. Same thing, I need to go on a router number eight. Neighborship 78.7 remote is only one, right? Network 8.0.0.0. Network IP VGP update. Done. On R7. Enable config terminal. Okay. Do so run section router VGP. It was configured over there. Five. Two. On the neighborship right, and the same thing I need to do with the. No neighbor. Seventy nine and remote is will be. So do so run section VGP. All good. So we have the neighborship in our thumbs up, right? All good. So if you just verify on R7, so IP, VGP, VPN, V4, all summary, and you can see all we have in So Sir, neighbor activate all the command for the VPN. Automatically or... over activate. Okay. By default, it's enable and then you are as person. So I just put the command neighbor and automatically they will activate it. Sir, neighbor up there, sir. Show run section. No, no. On the other one, sir. Oh, it is there. Okay, okay. Thank you. Then, so now if you see guys, what happened when R8 is receiving the update, right? When R8 is receiving the update, so you can see this R8 router, this R8 router is receiving the update and what this guy's LMS is doing. And then I, I'm just doing the AS path contain the, our own age number. So R8 is not able to accept the route, right? From R2. So when R2 is sending this update to the R8, they are not accepting this route just because of the loop prevention mechanism, right? Same thing. When R9, if you see, R9 also says, hey, I'm going to remove this update. Due to the same ace path information, right? I'm not going to accept this update. So in that case, what happened? I just need to go on the router number nine. On router number nine, what I'm going to do? I just tell this person, hey, router BGP number to do one thing. Whatever the update is coming from the 79.7, whatever the update is coming from the 79.7, allow Thank you. 
So now, so IPVGP, you see. I'm allowing you, right? I don't need to look up, right? Now I'm telling this person, router number, hey, this is my own ace number, right? This is my own ace number, router nine is saying, hey, this is my own ace number. So whatever the update is coming to me, I just need to accept this update. The update is, so whatever the update is coming to me, I need to accept this update. I'm not going to look up the ace path information. I will just accept it because this update is coming from my own company network. See, so I did the allocation on the customer side. On a R8, for this person, what I'm going to do, I just need to go on the R7. And on the R7 auto, right, under the VRF router, BGP number one, Nokia. And I said, the neighbor, whatever the route that you're sending to this person, 78.8, .8, you do one thing, override the own AS number. Override the own AS number. So when R, this guy is saying the update to the this person, right? The update is something like this, 2.0.0.0.0, AS number th uh, 1, column 3, right? So what they will do, R8. R8 will now accept this update, how? Because now this guy will be something like this. Previously three was there. So ace override means what? I need to override my own ace number. Okay. Override my own ace information. So now if you see, are it, you will see this information. See? Is a writing. So if you just have the output right, guys, the output is little interesting. This guy is going to use the allowation, and this guy is going to use the ace of right. In the override, what happened? They will just override the publication. Not public, they will override the ISPS number. This guy is not going to override. So with the, the override, the override allowing it outbound? Yeah, outbound. Okay. In examinations, what happened, guys? In examinations, you will get the output, right? Like, you know, uh, this, like this output is given, right? I'll tell you how this thing is opposite. They will say you okay. I need to have this route in my topology. Sorry, BGP table on some router, maybe R56 router. On R56 router, I need to have this topology. So you need to match the output. You need to match the output. Okay. This output you have to match. So if you see that two uh, AS number is there, right? AS1 and AS1 again. In that case, what when you need to run the ASO write command. And if this guy has output like this, it means that you need to write the allow it. Because do you know the most most of the time what happened? You cannot say to the ISP, hey, just do the ASO writing thing, right? You don't have an ability on the ISP. If the ISP is doing, then it's good, right? But take example, if ISP will forget, right? And it, uh, you don't want to share any information with the ISP. You don't you can't say that ISP, okay, I'm using the duplicate AS number. So in that case, on a customer side, you have ability. Same thing you have to do in this case, guys, in this side. On R1 side. So if you see on R1 is not receiving the 9.0.0 update, right? Can you see? Show IP BGP. I'm not receiving 9.0.0. So I can do one thing, auto BGP number one. Sorry, auto BGP number two. 
as a neighbor, whatever the route is coming from 20.3, allow it in. Same command I can configure on R2, right? I'm not going to, to say the ISP. I'll just do on the customer side, on side. That's it. Do so IPv GP now. See? So it's not like that I have used, if you see, I have used the is allow is in, right? On this guy as well as? On this guy as well as. So one side I have used the is over right, one side I have used the allow is in. You can use the combination of as well as, and you can use the both allow is in the question side. But is over right, you have to always use with the VRM. If you just go on an R8 router, and let's do one thing. I'm gonna say this guy, hey, I want to use the ACE override. Take example. There is no option. You have to always use the ACE override with the VRM. And that is running with the ISP set. It's not like that you have always going to use the ACE override and allow it in, in the MPLS VPN concept, right? It's not like that. Take example. R1, right? This is the ISP, this is the R2, this is the R3, this is the R4, and this is the R5. And uh, all we have, uh, I'm going to configure the DMB pin. So this is my DMB pin, right? And the DMB pin, what have we have a branch office, right? This is our branch office, right? So all we have, what happened? They all are running with the ACE number one. This guy is running the ACE number one. This guy is running the ACE number one. This guy is running the ACE number one. This guy, this guy. So in that case, what happened? You also use the allow ACE. In this case, you are totally deploy the allow ACE, in, not the ACE override. Because there is no VRF, right? There is no VRF. So you have to use the allow age. Yeah. Sir, if two service providers are there, sir? Two service providers, what are you saying? Are you talking about two transport connections here? Yes, sir. You can do it, there's no issue. This is independent of transport, right? This is the TMAPN. That is the good thing about the... Yes, sir. Transport, transport independent one. I didn't understand that. Um, it doesn't matter what transport are they, uh, this guy service part is running. Uh, they are okay. running with the any protocol. Doesn't matter. I don't. I just need to have a reachability. Okay. 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 Will be transport independent. I ban transport independent. Guys, any questions? Anyone? So in this case, if we put two service providers, one has one AS number, and the other has two AS number. Okay. Why? I mean, one minute, one minute. Are you talking from this perspective, or are you talking from the perspective of MPLS VPN? Uh, MPLS VPN, sir. I'm just 
giving a redundancy to the service provider side also so to overlay bana rahe ho ye nahi bana rahe bhai ye bataao do you have overlay Over... network yes overlay to hai sir to tum jab overlay bana rahe ho na bhai to tumko jab tum overlay bana rahe ho na it doesn't matter what handle is there wo fark hi nahi padna chahiye na ki tumhara ye kaun sa as number chal raha hai kaun sa nahi chal raha hai what protocol they are running what protocol they are not running you just need to have originality of this transfer connection right and give me address okay you getting this point or not just tell me um not completely sir okay okay one minute are one i speak okay so go first one. do you have any questions in the as over id allowance anyone has a questions about this topic no wait no kya tha yaar wahi ye question hai ha wo you kal wala topology where devender was asking if you have a dual service provider and uh, you have like two connections ye pehle ye wala pehle ye wala concept samjhao ya ye wala samjhao pehle ye bata ab samjhao sir aapko jo sahi lagta hai pehle wo samjha do theek hai ये है आर वन ये मेरी आईएसपी है ठीक है और ये मेरी है डॉट नंबर टू ठीक है मुझे ये बताओ मुझे जीआरडी टर्मिनल बनाना है और यहाँ पे चल रहा है मेरा बीजेपी वन ठीक है यहाँ पे चल रहा है मेरा बीजेपी टू यहाँ पे चल रहा है मेरा बीजेपी थ्री तो तुमको जीआरडी टर्मिनल बनाने के लिए क्या करना पड़ता है बताओ मुझे वॉट वी है जीआरडी टर्मिनल के लिए वही सर डेस्टिनेशन और सोर्स ओरिजिनलिटी होनी चाहिए राइट करेक्ट दैट इज द दैट इज द ओवरले दैट्स ओवरले सो इसमें कुछ फर्क पड़ रहा है कि तुम्हारा बीजेपी का एस नंबर क्या है क्या नहीं है इज द मैटर ऑफ द बीजेपी एस नंबर डजंट मैटर राइट सो ओवर जब मैंने वाला आई एम गोइंग टू डिप्लॉय द ओवरले राइट इट डजंट मैटर व्हाट अंडर इज डूइंग दैट्स द मीनिंग ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडिपेंडेंट ओके ओके मुझे फर्क ही नहीं पड़ रहा है कि तुम मुझे रिचुअलिटी आदर यू कैन गिव द रिचुअलिटी फ्रॉम द फ्रेम रिले एमपीएलएस इंटरनेट डजंट मैटर आई विल क्रिएट माय ओवरले नेटवर्क ऑन दिस ओवरले नेटवर्क आई नीड टू डिसाइड ओके व्हिच प्रोटोकॉल आई एम गोइंग टू यूज आदर एचआरपी बीजेपी ओएसएफ दैट्स अ दैट्स व्हाई यू आर सेइंग इट्स अ इंटेलिजेंट वाइन वैन क्लियर हो गया दिस पार्ट करेक्ट श्योर सर या और इसमें क्या बोल इसमें तुम ये बोल रहे हो कि मान लो ये मेरा कंपनी है वन ब्रांच ऑफिस वी हैव एंड दिस गाइस गोइंग टू रन विद द बीजेपी वन ओके एंड वी हैव अ एमपीएलएस राउटर एंड एमपीएलएस सर्विस पॉइंट राइट एंड दिस गाय हैज अनदर वन लाइक दिस हां ओके सो दिस गाय दिस गाय इज रनिंग विद द टेक एग्जांपल बीजेपी नंबर 2 एंड दिस गाय इज रनिंग विद द बीजेपी नंबर Three like this, and this guy is running with the BGP number one like this. Yes. Okay. So, you tell me what I will do in this. Anyone can explain this topology, right? You just need to go on the particular in this neighbor, right? On this neighbor, on this neighbor, you have to use the allow is in because the private either the either the primary or the primary or the primary and secondary, right? So you have to apply on the both side because if the primary goes down, you have to follow the secondary. Right, so on the both neighbor, you have to say that allow is in. Okay, but um, in don, acha okay, that anyways is going to be underlay again. Okay, okay. No, no, yeah, pe underlay ka wo concept nahi hara chhu tum soch rahe ho. What I'm thinking is like, abhi primary secondary jab active sec active jo rehta hai, so uh, it will basically use um, that particular data, link as data data forwarding. data forwarding ke liye then how will it switch over to the secondary jab wo primary down hota hai to how bot will be running in the background nothing is running if if your this link goes down what happen hold on time will be expired and it will it will switch to the secondary path that's how the uh, normal uh, routing is working right 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 so okay okay so automatically switch over okay then it will start uh, forwarding traffic in that particular yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. To, yeah if you want to if you want a faster convergence then you can use the bfd over there if you want a faster because by default what happens the bgp has a very slow right 180 seconds is a down time 
hold on time is there so if you want a uh, faster convergence you can implement the bft if you want correct sir sir ye bft hum logo ne dekha nahi hai sir abhi tak abhi dekh abhi are kaise dikhta hai hota hai aisa dikhta hai dekhenge abhi isko bft ko no don't worry okay. after the multi after the multicasting now we'll see that bft after the okay. multicasting i have to go through the bft and then uh, urpf okay and then policy based on it these three topics we have to discuss one minute which aaj evening wale batch mein morning wale batch mein subah bjp fast chal raha hai session hai bjp kar raha hai bhai sahab mera apna life hai na na ganda batch de liya tha yaar sahi hai ha sahi hai sahi hai can you please explain about i van in just in diagram i1 is a, uh, the dmp pen is called as i1 right intelligent uh, you know uh, wide area network that's like uh, it provided previously what happened uh, like we need to uh, we need to depend on the uh, like you know the transport media what transport media we are using previously we don't have overlay concept right we have to use the transport media my packet was pulling by like this right but after implementing the i1 i1 means what it's a intelligent wire intelligent is for it does not matter what transport connection i'm going to use i will just forward the packet over the overlay network i'm going to create the another network that's totally independent from the underlay that's totally a, like a the see complete i van is saying we can say that that's a dmp pen is i van we can say that means which configurations they are using the eigrp how they are switching over one to another just that's, in brief uh, see that's i even i don't know because i haven't never looked for the i van and that's oh, totally a legacy nowadays right because there's even overcome the ivan issues right so i haven't this i haven't gone through that i uh, downloaded some books from the ivan and i will just learn the concept of the dmp pen scenario that's it nothing else okay otherwise just give me one day yeah. okay i will go through that why i went then explain you why what is the issue with ivan so that's where they will come in the like sd van solution okay okay all right okay but now it's so totally like uh, as i read the books right i want to just say that it's a dmp pen right that's the introduced us by the cisco ivan is dmp pen only na sir i mean yeah that's was... why i ivan is a dmp pen only right it's not other, other things is there but i still they have some issue let me i have one minute they pass a ivan to the lot of but, lot of ivan customers are moving to sd van yeah. sir now abhi it is a intelligent man so i did this is all a complete like you know the dmp pen part is there nothing else if you just open the book ivan and uh, if you see they all have a dmp ampelus layer 3 pn dmp pn that's all is i one how the impedance routing is in the ehrp one okay i'll read this chapter i went routing then i have because I already have seen all those things right dmp pn multi point i need to go through this routing behavior right then i'll let you know how the things are working so i one is dmp pn multi um, my mpls pn all are there in i one is it sir yeah so i van is what it's a intelligent wan area a wide area network right so right the goal of i van is just going to make a transport independency that's it the main goal and how this the routing is going to work over there that like the devendra asked me that even i don't know how this things are because i never look for this one this one i just know that they are using the two isp in case one isp down is switch to another something like this okay so, let me check i just heard i just and, heard i'm not sure Okay, 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 and also the I one allow you to uh, make a direct internet access from your branch office. Previously, what happened uh, without the I one? What happened? Uh, if you have a branch office in the Bangalore location and your data center is present in the you know the Delhi location, so your traffic has to be fall back into the Delhi and then it will send to the ISP, right? Just for the security perspective. and so what i1 is allowing you you can make a direct internet access and same thing is happening in the sd van as well as so cisco ke lot of customers 